March 8, 2017 and International Women's Day is an enormous mobilisation in Dublin to demand repeal of the Eighth Amendment to the Irish Constitution. This amendment makes abortion illegal in almost all circumstances in Ireland. It was introduced in 1983, which means that although people voted on it then, nobody under the age of 50, in fact, has had a vote on this. There's been a huge head of steam building up since the X case in 1992 to get rid of the Eighth Amendment. It's quite hated at this stage, but government after government has stalled and avoided calling a referendum to do so. Earlier in the day, we saw a strike for repeal taking place, where thousands of people blocked off the main bridge in the city centre, O'Connell Bridge, for the space of about two and a half hours. It's also a measure of the sheer level of anger and frustration that's now growing at the government's failure to act. Not just a failure, in fact, but a complete refusal to act. Almost certainly another major motivation in terms of the numbers that came out was the previous weekend it had been confirmed that there was indeed a mass grave in what had been a septic tank at the back of a tomb, mother's and baby's home. These homes, ran by the Catholic Church, uh, were funded by the Irish state and were basically where uh, mothers uh, were and their babies were dumped and it turns out quite literally to die. It's estimated that across the nine homes there may well have been between six and seven thousand deaths between the 1930s and the 1950s. The running of these homes involves the complicity and cooperation of all aspects of Establishment Ireland, from a government that was funding them to a police force that often arrested and brought women back who had escaped the homes, and they had no legal right to do that, to an Irish media establishment that never really covered these. It was covered in the left press if you go back to the 1930s, the 1950s and the 1960s, but almost no mainstream coverage happened until well into the 1990s and 2000s. Indeed, in 2014, when the British tabloid uh, published the specific claim that there were 796 such deaths at, at the tomb home, the Irish media took a full week to catch up and actually cover this. Even this week, when it was confirmed that the septic tank had indeed been used as a mass grave, you had establishment media outlets like the Irish Times giving opinion piece uh, to people who were minimising what this actually meant. The same people had actually denied the existence of the grave back in 2014. In the build-up to the protests on International Women's Day, there was a lot of coverage by international media and indeed social media, particularly Twitter and Facebook, was full of stories about the protests that were coming. A uh, strike for repeal, for instance, was trending at the number five position for, uh, in Ireland the day before. But there was absolutely no coverage whatsoever in national media on the Irish Times, in the Irish Independent, or on the national broadcaster RTE. They completely ignored the build-up to these protests.
tuning in. This is the Dublin March for Choice. Uh, huge crowd, way, way, way bigger than anybody expected. Uh, probably 10,000 plus, so you know. Uh, anyway, uh, if you could share this out, that would be cool. It would help get more people to tune in and follow it. Uh, if you're not familiar, so yeah, this is Ireland. Uh, the demand is to repeal the eighth referendum, which makes abortion illegal in almost all circumstances in the country since at least 1992. The big head of steam has been building up, demanding uh, the repeal of it, but government after government, every party has been in power, in fact, have tried to store it and avoid being the ones to call a referendum. And at this stage, as you can probably tell from watching this video, people are really fed up. So again, those are really appreciated and uh, get more.